In this video, we will be creating a small particle effect in the particle editor, and it's basically going to simulate us hitting something when we fire our weapon. So let's go ahead and get started. So we are going to create a new particle, and I think in order to do that, we should probably create a particle folder, because why not? So let's create a particle folder. New folder, particles, and let's create a new particle under particle system, and we'll call it the hit trace part. So now that we have new particle, we're gonna go ahead, we're going to go ahead and need to set this up. Now one of the keys with a particle, if we open this up quickly, if we check our required section, is there is a material for the particle. So we're gonna actually need to create a material for our particle, so that way we have something to display. Now this one's going to be pretty simple. Let's go ahead and go into our materials. Let's create a material and let's call this one the hit particle material and open it up. Now all we're going to do here is assign a color to our particle. Now if we type in particle we're going to find a section called particles. These are parameters basically that will take input from a particle that this material is being used by and then adjust itself accordingly. We want the particle color. Basically if we hook this up into our missive color we are going to find that we have a particle color being passed out as the emitted color. Now one thing we want to do since we're going to make this very simple and we don't want lighting to affect it is we are going to change a couple of these parameters. We're going to change the shading model to unlit. That's going to go ahead and let us have light not affect this and it's going to be a solid color. And then we're going to change our blend mode to translucent so that way we can have partial opacity. And it'll give us kind of like a little fade out effect. Once this is done, that's all we're going to need to do. Let's save out our particle and we're done with it. So let's set up our particle itself. We first thing we need to do is assign our new material. So let's assign our hit particle material. And now you'll notice, well, nothing's really happening. Well, nothing's really happening because there's some parameters we're going to go ahead and need to change. Plus we haven't had it. It hasn't finished compiling. So what parameters do we need to change? Well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the initial size and we're going to make this thing look better and we're going to give it a slight fade out effect. So if we go to the initial size section where you can see it right here, we go to the start size, distribution, and we have our max and our min. Right now it's a bit too big. Let's change our min down to one and our max to three and we'll get this smaller effect. Now it's a bit too bit rambunctious. It's lasting a bit longer than I want. I want this more like a puff. So what we're going to need to do is change the lifetime on it. So if we go to the lifetime, we scroll down in our distribution, we're going to find a min and a max. Right now it's set to one second. Let's change this to 0.2 for the min and 0.4 for the max. Now you notice our lifetime itself is shorter and we have a much smaller effect going up. Now. By default, you're going to have the emitter loops, sorry. By default, our loops is set to indefinite. If we go to required, we scroll down to emitter loops, it's set to zero. If we change this to one, we're now going to get one burst that comes out. Now you notice it seems like it's going more than a bit of a burst, and that's because it's bursting at once less than the total amount that can burst the duration is too long. So if we go up to our duration of one second and change it to something like 0.1 seconds, we're going to get a little burst that pops out. Now unfortunately it's not enough, so we're going to work on that. So let's go ahead the color over lifetime. So let's go into our color over life. Let's go into our, well, we're not going to change the color over life. What we're going to do is we're going to change our alpha over life. And if we scroll down to here, we're going to have these sections right here. So if we go to the color over life and open this one up as well, 
we'll go to point zero and one. Now we have our color set up and we have our alpha set up. Now by default, if we look at our color, now these are particles are a huge, huge undertaking. They are very complex in how they work. So we're just gonna change the basics and I'll explain them as we go along. But basically by default, the color of our life has two points. The first point is the color at zero and the second point is the color at one or 0% life and 100% life. And the values are white for both. What we're gonna do is change the value on the second one, which is our first point, out value, and let's change this to black. What this is going to do is it's gonna go from white to black at 100%. So that way we're gonna end up with a faded out effect when we're done. So the next thing we need to do is we need to adjust the amount of items that are going to be spawning when we spawn this. So let's go ahead and find our spawn and let's go to our rate and let's maybe pump this up. We get a little bit of burst. You know what? Let's make this a big old number, like a thousand. Look at that. We just get a big old poof that pops out. And you know what? That's going to be it. We just want something that's just like a little poof when you fire at it and it just pops up and it just shoots out. So that's all we're pretty much going to do. We're going to go ahead and leave that alone and we're going to go ahead and set it up so this pops out when we fire. And just to show you what I was talking about earlier with the color, now that we actually have a bunch more popping out, let me show you my two different points. Let me switch this back to white and you'll notice it's pretty much white up to this point, it's solid. When we adjust this down to black, you're gonna notice it almost fades out from white to black. So it's just a little effect. This isn't meant to be anything fancy, this is a prototype, it's just to get something happening. So we have our particle, let's go ahead and save everything because crashes suck. And let's go ahead and set up how we are going to use this. There's a few ways to go about it. But I'm thinking the easiest thing to do is we always want to see a hit particle effect when we hit something. Now, we know when we hit something inside of our character by using our line trace. We have this node right here. If we hit something, true. If not, false. So let's spawn the particle after we hit something. Drag off. We'll do a spawn emitter. And we'll do it at location. What location? Well, that's what we're going to set up here in a second. And actually one thing that's kind of cool is it almost fit perfectly and that was a complete accident. Let's change our emitter template to our particle. And now we're going to go ahead and spawn, after we hit something, this particle. Where? Well, we conveniently have a few things here. Location. Location of the hit in world space. Impact point. Where we impacted at. The normal on the object, the impact normal, the end point of the trace, for example, or where the trace started. Well, let's just go with the location because, well, they're both named the same. So let's try it out and see if it works. And just so you know, it will work. This is where we hit at when we were doing the debug traces earlier. And you saw the square when it hit the target before it turned green. That is our hit location. Let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. We'll fire at the wall and look at that we have a little bit of a hit effect. And you can actually see the black and white better. We'll fire at our targets. This one's easier because we have more. And you can actually notice it going down. I remembered we turned this one to 10. And you're seeing it hit at every time we hit. Now, to make it a little bit more effective, you can go ahead and you would add a decal in to show a bullet impact. But that is a more advanced topic that's covered in a different section. That is going to wrap up this video. We went ahead and created a particle and have it spawn when we hit. Our next video is basically going to be our game over screen. We're going to create a screen that kept track of our points and it shows game over with a few more options on restarting or quitting completely.